If you're a beginner in the spice world business and are looking for a profitable spice business to start, I'm actually going to give you 14 different ways that you can sell spices. If you're a beginner or you're just getting started and have spices, this will be a great handful of ideas that you would have never thought of and we're going to get into those right now. All right, so let's dive right into this list. If you are looking to create a successful spice business, I'm gonna give you 14 different ways, yes, 14 different ideas and different avenues that you could actually sell spices if you're already started and you're looking for several different ways to branch out. Hopefully this will give you some great creative ideas and kind of a brainstorm session, if you will, and I'm gonna give you some really interesting ways that you can sell your spices. But as always, if you're new to Marketing Food Online, Check out that subscribe button. We've got over 800 videos for the food entrepreneur. If you're looking to start, of course, a spice business or if you, you know, food truck or sell products online, we are definitely the source for your information. So let's dive into this list. Now, this is a no particular importance list. It's just basically 14 different ideas, different ways to do this. So number one, if you're looking to actually start a spice business from scratch, very, very low budget, I highly recommend, number one, you start at home sell spices from home. There's actually almost every state in the United States offers what's known as cottage food laws. And these are laws that allow you to sell food or certain products that are food related from home. Almost all of them actually allow you to do spice blends or seasoning blends as they may put it. So selling from home is number one. And you can sell at farmers markets, festivals, fairs, uh, food uh, festivals. You can do them at wine tastings. You can do them at um, assortment of different food get togethers and gatherings and you can do that from home by packaging labeling and of course every state has their own labeling guidelines but a home is really a fantastic place to do it because your investment is very very low you're not having to get a big facility okay so number two wholesale you can wholesale spices basically wholesaling works in a couple of different ways so whole, wholesale kind of refers to two possible business models okay one business model may buy goods in like in a larger quantity directly from like a manufacturer and wholesale them and basically and resell them or another way is actually selling wholesale that you manufacture them you actually make them yourself and it could be under your own brand or you could have a co-packer or a private label company make them for you and do it that way okay so number two is wholesaling Number three is online. This is through your own website, okay? And I'm gonna go over actually a couple of different e-commerce variations next uh, down the list, but this one is your own website. Basically creating one at, like on Weebly, Shopify, having an e-commerce business or an e-commerce present on your own website. That is another great way that you could sell spices if you haven't thought of that. Next up, restaurants. You can supply restaurants. Yes, believe it or not, even doing it from home, some states allow you to actually supply it as an ingredient. So if you have a, let's say, really unique Asian blend of spices and you have a couple of restaurants around in your neighborhood or area or even your city, you can even go and sell them to restaurants. Okay? So number, <clears throat> number four is restaurants. Now, number five, Amazon. Of course, everybody knows what Amazon is. Selling them online on that platform is a no-brainer. There are millions of customers looking for spices and they go to Amazon. So selling your spice, spices online through Amazon, having that store separate from your own website is another great way to be online. Now, number six. Now this may be odd, may sound funny or weird, but we actually do this with our candy business, YouTube. You can actually create very short videos on YouTube and use it as a platform to sell and promote and market your spices. How do you use YouTube to sell, sell stuff? Well, Dan, well, what you do is you actually create those videos, you post them on YouTube, explaining either a certain recipe that uses your spices, uh, how you actually blend your spices. You don't have to give out a recipe for it, but actually how you blend it or how you put it together, or even behind the scenes on how you make it. And then in the description below the video, you can add links to all of your online stores or even your own website, okay? YouTube. Next up, Walmart. Walmart.com, yes, you can actually sell products, your own food products on Walmart. If this is something you've never thought of before, Walmart.com is a fantastic place to create your own store, storefront, and that would allow you to actually sell your spices through them. Okay, next up, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is gigantic. And yes, again, you can leverage LinkedIn like you do YouTube. 
When you go on LinkedIn, you can create a profile dedicated to your spice business. And then in there, you could put additional links to your YouTube videos about your spices. You could put additional links on there to your websites, even to your Amazon store, your Walmart store. If you've got your own website that you've created through Shopify or Weebly, you can also do that as well. So LinkedIn is a great place and you can also connect and network with a lot of food industry executives, restaurateurs, food truck owners. These are people who would be interested in buying your spices. The next up, next way to sell your spices, private label. Now, I don't mean private label in the way that you think, but I'm talking about you offering the service to put other people's names on your spices is a huge industry. Co-packing and private labeling in a sense where you can offer on your website a variety of your own spice blends or spices and you can actually put someone else's, another company on that will pay you to put their name and their label on your product. And you basically make minimum, say, minimum order amount could be 500 bags to 1,000 bags, but we do private labeling. We'll put your logo, put your information on it, and you can actually create a private label spice business, but you do the actual private labeling. Next up, subscription. Believe it or not, subscription business, a monthly spice subscription business is another way to actually sell spices online. And this is actually cool because it creates a reoccurring amount of money every month and you can offer a huge variety of spices. And guess what? You don't have to actually sell your own spices. You could actually curate a variety of spices that you get or you can even buy online or buy them in bulk or buy them in wholesale or even get them from retail at a low price and flip them into subscription boxes. So subscription boxes is another great way to sell spices. Next up, sell it on the Facebook marketplace. Facebook has an ability on their platform for you to create a store to sell your products. Plus you're in front of hundreds of millions of potential customers every month, and you can run Facebook ads tied into your store very easily, so it's very seamless. Facebook is another place to actually sell spices. Next up, eBay. Everybody knows who eBay is, right? But if you haven't thought of it and you're a beginner into spice business idea, you can actually open a store on eBay and focus it completely on nothing but spices, spice blends, and herb blends, and rubs, and you can create a storefront on eBay. Next up is Etsy, Etsy.com. Yes, you can actually sell your own spices because it's, again, your own brand. You can sell them on Etsy.com, and they are gigantic. They're actually growing at a very steady pace almost at the point where they're going to be very similar to, to eBay as far as the size and opportunity. Okay? And lastly, manufacturing. So basically, this is, the, this is the higher end. If you're looking to invest a lot more money in a bigger facility and you wanted to manufacture them in very large bulk and very large quantity, you can manufacture your own spices. This isn't something where manufacturing wouldn't be considered like a cottage food, cottage food business where you're doing a smaller portion and a smaller amount where you're selling just a few bags here and there, we're talking about even 5, 10, 15 pounds, which could be sold for food service. These are businesses and companies that distribute larger quantities and portions to uh, franchise restaurants, hotels, resorts, universities, colleges. These are very large bulk quantities, but manufacturing them, that's another way. Okay, so that was a really quick video giving you some brainstorming ideas about 14 different ways that you can actually sell your spices and make money. So a lot of times, a lot of people, when they first start out, they may be thinking, you know what, I'm going to do it from home, and I'm going to do it on a small scale, and there's nothing wrong with that. But these are going to be about 14 different variations, ideas that could potentially open the door for you to give you ideas to go in multiple directions at once because it'll increase your amount of income. If you're looking to make more money in a multitude of different ways, don't just narrow your scope or your ideas, hey, I just want to sell it in retail stores. You know what? Hey, I just wanted to sell it from my home and maybe I'll do farmer's markets. Well, there's such a huge different way if you get really creative and check out some of these ideas that you can actually begin to create your own line of spices, but offer them in such a multitude of ways that you can have money coming in from 14 different directions. Um, is this easy to do? Well, obviously, no, it's not. It's going to definitely take some work. We operate six online e-commerce uh, food businesses now, and it's definitely a lot to jungle, uh, juggle, and it's a lot to manage, but it's definitely something that you can do. And as your as your, obviously your business grows, so will your team, and you can get additional people to help you uh, with the process. But having a multitude of e-commerce uh, presence online is definitely a no-brainer, and I highly recommend you do that. So if this was helpful, as always, please let us know down below. And if you have any questions about your spice business, please let us know, and we will try to answer those as soon as possible. We'll see you guys on our next video. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, 
start a home-based food business under the cottage food law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, get your own online store or sell food online. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.